Here are 10 free ways to find voiceover work. Now, I'm going to mention really the voiceover websites where you can find the work. You're probably aware that there are a lot of pay to play sites around. The problem with those is that you have to pay. And that means it's going to eat into your return on investment because you, you've paid out your money up front. So I thought in this presentation, what I'll do is just give you some ideas of other sites where you don't have to pay at all and you just can get the work, you can access the work and you get to keep your money. The first place has got to be Fiverr, hasn't it? It's got to be the place to find voiceover work, especially when you're starting out. If you've just got a USB mic and some old blankets, <laughs> that's your studio. Well, Fiverr is a great place to uh, to find them. They do take a 20% commission, but I think you can swallow that, given that it's completely free to, to sign up. And they do have a lot of work on there. It's international. Doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't matter where your client is. The next one is... A sort of similar site to Fiverr, it is a freelancer site, I think it's probably less cheap and cheerful. With Fiverr, you create your own price list than you do with people per hour to some extent. But I think you have an hourly rate that can be significantly higher, I think, than Fiverr. So again, it's a good resource for finding those voice acting jobs, especially when you're starting out. Upwork is an interesting one because it used to be completely free but they've now introduced a paid for version. And I would ignore the paid for version, but just go for the freebie stuff. With the paid for version, you sort of buy so many tokens, connects, and they you then spend those tokens on auditioning for jobs. But they've still got a free section. And I think I would try that out and see how you get on with it. If you've got a bit of experience under your belt, and you use an XLR microphone, so you're a bit more professional in your approach, then Voquent is certainly worth considering. Again, completely free to join, completely free to access that work. As far as I'm aware, they don't even charge any commission to you. So it's a great place to be, but they are a little bit fussy about who they take on board. The more experienced you are, the better, and the better your microphone and your studio setup at home, the more chance you have of being accepted by the site and being allowed to access those voiceover jobs. The next one is Covoco. I assume that's how it's pronounced or C-O-V-O-C-O. -O -O. Probably isn't pronounced like that. And this again would probably be ideal if you're a beginner. I think uh, Covoco would be a great place to start. You could probably get away with a good quality USB condenser mic on this one. It's an interesting site because there don't seem to be any humans at the other end of it. I think it's all computer algorithms. That's no bad thing because hopefully they're trying to match your voice to the right client. And a few people have said it seems a bit scammy. I'm not sure. I've had a couple of students, a couple of my own students who've got work on there. So it does work and it's not costing you anything. But take a look and see what you think. Make up your own mind. The big hitter when it comes to audiobooks has to be ACX. It's run by Audible, which is part of Amazon, so you can't get any bigger than that. And it just does audiobooks. So if you're looking for commercial work or video game work, this isn't the place for you. It is purely audiobooks. But when I say audiobooks, I don't just mean fiction. It's absolutely anything. And everything, whether you want to do thrillers or you want to you want to do history books or geography books, self-help books, very, very popular at the moment. Anything really, anything that's in the Amazon bookstore potentially is an audiobook. And that's where you find the voiceover work on ACX. A couple of ways of being paid. You can go for a paper finished hour where they pay you an hourly rate for the completed work, or you can go for a royalty share which is a 50-50 split between you and the author over a seven-year period. And it's completely free to sign up. One you might not have heard of before, Voice Jungle. An interesting, interesting one. Uh, you have to apply to, to go on it. And they have some set fees, not the fees that you're paying, but you're being paid. So they've just put their rates up. I'm recording this early 2023. And they've just put their rates up. So the fees, the amount of money that you can earn. 
and they now pay 35 cents per word with a minimum of $40 for up to 40 words and $75 over 40 words. So that stops the real low ballers coming in. So you definitely would get $40 minimum and anything over 40 words, they'll pay you $75. And it's completely free, of course, to sign up. Voice Giant, another one you might not have heard of. It's uh, an interesting one. And it is very, I suppose it's it's a, a more boutique one. Uh, again, they may not accept your voice necessarily if you apply, but it's certainly worth giving it a go because a lot of people don't know about it. So get in there quick. And again, they're trying to match the right voice to the right client and all sorts of work will be on there, particularly straight narration. So by that, I mean, a lot of corporates, a lot of internal work, a lot of educational e-learning stuff as well. One that is sort of obvious, but not obvious is a site called freelancer.co.uk. And as the name suggests, it is a site for freelancers. The thing is, it's a site for all sorts of freelancers, whether you're a software designer or an artist, graphic designer or something, or you're a lawyer, even or an accountant or a voiceover artist. But the voiceover section is not kind of obvious on it. You have to sort of peel back the layers and do a bit of drilling down to get yourself on there. But I think for that reason, it's probably not got a lot of voice actors on the site. So again, it might be good to get in there and not be an early adopter because the site's been around for a long time, but just to kind of make yourself a bit of, of a different sort of more creative kind on a site that's not especially creative. But again, it's another another site to investigate, I think. And our 10th one is The Voice Distillery. Again, a bit of a, a new one and one that you may not have heard of before. It's a free to audition casting site and they use technology enhanced approaches to ensure that every audition that you submit is considered and it's completely free. But it is, again, the same sort of system. It is a matchmaking system where they're trying to match the voice actor to the, the customer, to the client who's looking for some voiceover work. You have to apply and there's no guarantee that they'll, they'll accept you, of course. And the better your equipment, the more chance you have of being taken on. So give them a go. It's called The Voice Distillery. So I hope that helps. And thank you very much for having a look at all this stuff today. Hopefully you'll get some voiceover work from one of those sites at, at least. Please check out my other videos. And if you fancy, please subscribe. I do lots of videos. I try and do a couple every month, if not more. And if you've got any ideas about what I should be recording, the next topics, please let me know in the comments section below. Thanks very much. Look after your voice and I'll see you next time.